Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Ubiquiti Unify router with a BT broadband connection. Uh, so this will work with any of the Ubiquiti's uh, models. So Ubiquiti Unify's models. So I've got a um, Dream router here, but it works with a um, Dream Machine, Dream Machine Pro, Dream Machine SE, and even the USG. The USG's the interface is slightly different, but the principles are the same, the credentials are exactly the same. So uh, yeah, it, it works with all of those. Incidentally, uh, if you're looking to buy any of those, you can check it out on our, our retail site, wifi to buycom and we do sell all of these models. So um, yeah, if you're looking for them, check us out there. They're all in stock at the minute. So um, yeah. Right. The first thing to do when you're trying to work, uh, trying to connect a BT uh, broadband connection is to know which type of BT broadband connection you've got. So. There are, we're not going to cover GFAST here, but everything else we are going to cover. So we basically want to know whether you've got a VDSL or an ADSL or a fiber to the premise connection. So um, those three connections, two of them are basically the same and the other one's got a slight difference on it in terms of the hardware. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is look at where your BT broadband, so your current router is connected to um, the internet and you need to see what type of socket you've got to work out the type of connection you've got. You might know off the top of your head, you might know what type of connection you've got, but if you don't, then look at this. So if you've got a little box on the wall that looks like this, this is called a BT master socket and that means you have a VDSL or an ADSL connection. If you have a little box that looks like this, then you have a fiber to the premise connection. So uh, that means fiber all the way from the exchange right to your house. So the difference between those is that one of them, the fiber, has a built-in modem. So you don't need to uh, use an additional modem. These routers do not come with a built-in modem. So you do have to use a modem of some sort. So if you have the BT master socket, which looks like this, you'll need a uh, router uh, sorry modem of some sort now you can either buy like the Draytech Vigor 167 which we sell on our site uh, link in the comments below um, or you can use like a TP-Link uh, modem like this or TP-Link router like this sorry and put it into um, like bridge mode or modem mode um, this one is the TDW9970 again link in the comments below um, this one needs setting up to put it into, into bridge mode, but I've done a video on that, so you can check it out um, and see how to set that up. They, they, they are quite a bit cheaper than the Draytech, so that's why um, you might want to use one of those. Right, so once you've got your uh, modem set up or um, or you've just bought the Draytech, which is plug and pay, then um, you're good to go. What you need to do, if you're doing it from an ADSL or a VDSL connection, is you need to take your phone line, there's a little cable that's coming out the back of your BT router, take it out of here, out of that's out of the plug, sorry, and put it into here. So it's a little RJ11, so it's like a little Ethernet plug basically. And that goes into this one here. And then you need to take an Ethernet cable, so um, like just a like a plug like that um, needs to go from one of the yellow ports on the back of this or similar on the Draytech, um, and then it goes from that into the little globe in fact, it's better to show you in the box, probably. The little one down here, so this one here with the uh, with the world on it, that is the internet plug for the uh, for the Dream Machines, etc. They all look exactly the same, basically. They've all got that kind of internet in or a globe. Um, so that's what you need to do, plug that up, modem from that. If you've got the FTTC, uh, FTTP, so the fiber to the premise that we talked about with this box, then um, you just take that cable that was going into your BT router take it out of there and put it into the dream machine. And that's you set up. So from a hardware perspective, you should all now be set up. There may be occasions during the setup, you have to reboot the modem to get the router to, uh, to take that connection. In my experience, that really happens, but you might need to. So what you need to do next is you need to uh, connect your uh, dream machine, dream router, whatever it is you're using. And you need to take a cable out of one of the port the four ports here and plug that into the machine that you're going to use to set it up so in this case i've got a mac uh, but you can use windows machine ubuntu whatever you want to use you can plug it in you just need an ethernet cable and that it is also possible to set this up with bluetooth um, but i'm not doing that in the setup i'm just using a cable i find this is the easiest way to do it because you've got a keyboard etc right so you go to unify uh dream dream router so i've just clicked on this and that's the address you want if i just refresh that you'll see what you get so it's 192.168.1.1 in the browser bar. 
and then it will take you to this lovely little interface. Right, it's gonna ask you a couple of questions. This is just about to set up. I'll just say yes, we're happy with that. And then it's straight away, it's gonna start looking for an internet connection. Now, by default, this internet connection is looking for a DHCP connection. So this will fail. It just won't work because it's not the type of connection you're using. So don't panic at this stage. Just click on advanced internet options. And then where it's got the drop down, it said currently says DHCP, drop that down and you're going to PPPOE. That's what you need to be selecting, PPPOE. Select on that. And then because you've got using BT Broadband, this is just a generic username and password. If you were with someone like B, uh, Talk Talk, for example, this would be account specific. So you would have a, you would have a specific username and password uh, and you'd have to phone them to get that information. Um, if you have a BT Business Broadband account, then this won't be generic and you do need to phone BT to get that information. So it's only BT Home Broadband where, the, where this is generic. So the username for this is Home, I always forget this, Home Hub at oh, at btbroadband.com. So nice and simple, home hub at btbroadband.com. It shouldn't have a space or one word. Right, I'm gonna get rid of this strong password it's suggesting. Oh, so I should, and then you just need to put bt lowercase in there. It doesn't actually need that password, but we'll put it in anyway. Okay, uh, you don't need to worry about Mac override. You don't need to worry about a VLAN tag. Um, so basically the only other thing you might want to do is put in your own DNS service here. I tend to use Google, which is 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. You can leave that blank and it will basically just use BT's DNS servers. It's entirely up to you really. Now I haven't got a physical BT connection here, so I can't show you what this looks like when, uh, when it's connected, but I can tell you that's all you need to do then you press apply. It may take a couple of minutes for it to set up. If it doesn't get through first time, reboot the modem and uh, and try again. If you're still having problems, then just double check that you've got everything right. But check you haven't put like a space after here or you've got some of the, uh, some of the text here because that is all you need to do. It's a very, very simple setup. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Instagram uh, and see what we do and uh, yeah. Please let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.